Okay, this is 20 ISOs, number 20, on the sheet. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get a sense of the dimensions, the shape. This one doesn't really seem so bad whenever you look at it, um, because after you've done all 20 of these, you're starting to realize, well, this one doesn't really involve that much work. You're going to make a cut through it, you're gonna, and then make a second cut. So it's not too terribly bad compared to some of the other ones. But let's look at the dimensions first, and then let's talk strategy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's going to be eight for the width. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be five for the depth. And one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be six for the height. All right. So in terms of the dimensions, oh, let's do one more thing. The radius of this um, quarter circle is going to be four inches. So I'm going to put radius four. Um, now, let's see here. Uh, if we just make a box and then start our sketch up at the top right corner and then cut that quarter circle all the way through, um, that will get us the first part of the shape. Then we can move over to the back side and just cut a rectangle out and we'll be good to go. It looks like this rectangle in the back is three units uh, deep inside and let's see here, it looks like... Um, see if we can try to get a good estimate for how far that actually goes in. Tell you what, since it's kind of hard to see right here, let's just do a little bit of subtraction. It's probably the easiest way. The width of this is eight units, and if this is two and this is two, then the inside has to be four units because four plus two plus two, that's going to be eight. So we can use that length of four, so it's going to be a three by four rectangle on the inside that we can use to uh, cut out. Let's go ahead and try that. It's an eight by five base, so we're gonna do that first. In on shape, create your document. Call it 20 ISOs, number 20. And then hit OK. Once we get to our sketch, create a sketch, click the top, and then move to the top view. We're gonna make our rectangle, and it is eight by five. So click the rectangle, make it anywhere you want to, 8, enter, 5, enter, and then we're going to switch to an isometric view, okay, and finish. Now, it was 6 units high, so when we go to the extrusion, we're going to click, and we're going to have a depth of 6, and we should have our block to start with right here. Now, to get our cut, we could go over here and go to the top right corner, or we could take the right side and go to the top left corner. Um, I said that I said we'd do the right side over here, so let's go ahead and do that because that was my original strategy. So I'm going to move over to this side. We're going to create a sketch on the left side of the block. We're going to make a circle, and this circle, if I remember, has a radius of 4. It does. So in the diameter, we're going to need to make this a diameter of 8. Okay, now uh, green check mark to finish that, and then extrude select remove and click on this quarter circle drag it all the way through and that will get rid of your quarter circle or it basically looks like a giant fillet all the way through now what we're going to do is we're going to flip around to the other side uh, so go to the back side we're going to create a sketch and we're going to create a sketch on this back side we know that it's going to be three units deep and four units across but there's not a middle section that we can really kind of base this off of oh wait yes there is so we can use the center point rectangle and we can start off right in the middle and we can make this. Now be careful with how you make the rectangle itself because you want the base to be four units but you want the height to be three units but you're going to cut off half of it. So this needs to be a four by six because only three of these six units are going to be inside the circle. Or inside the object. So click the green check mark to finish that out and go to an isometric view, click extrude, make sure you have remove selected, click on the shape that's in the object and then move the arrow out and then click the green check mark and you are good to go. Let's move to an isometric view and check it out compared to the original. Um, two units, two units and then a quarter circle cut and it looks like that's what we have. This is gonna be 20 ISOs, number 20. And the worksheet is now complete.